Carpenter, Pam, a senior that played the last couple of seasons almost every single match. And this year has just come in to serve, but unfortunately for Penn State, into the net. Preseason all Big Ten selection this year, but beaten out at setter by Micah Hancock. And as uh, you mentioned, does come in to serve and came up with the error. Here's Billings. Get things going for Kentucky. McClendon off a couple of hands. Clinton split the seam. The, the double block for Kentucky did not get there. They were trying to reach and get the angle to close it off. Just couldn't get there in time. Look at Hancock. She of the legal serve. Hancock sets it for McClendon off the block that works. Morgan able to to pop down. And that time the block was there for the Wildcats. That sat a little bit further off the net. It forced McClendon to hang just a little bit longer, and because of that, the block was ready for it. Morgan at 6-1. Warren O'Connor back to serve. As Kentucky leads it 2-1, and another service error for the Wildcats. Up break for Lauren O'Connor. She's a, a nice young player, though, a lot of talent, good size. They like how she's adjusting to the college game. 6'5", she is their tallest player. Morgan couldn't keep that one in. Zane Morgan was looking for the touch. The official said no. Deja McClendon from Louisville. Well, that's a terrific tip by Morgan. She lures in Penn State the last several times with the slide and a big arm, big attack. This time, because of her athleticism and the hang time, good reach. She's a solo block. The middle's open, just up and over. I mentioned she was a very good high jumper, and she showed us a good vertical leap that time. Courtney had to get it over in the free ball. Good credit to Tronic, the freshman. For that point. Tronic redshirted last year, but she's really become the most consistent player out there for the Wildcats. Hancock setting it up for Megan Courtney and the freshman with the slight build but the big swing. Coach Russ Wallace said that Courtney you saw her when her high school freshman year at a camp and knew that she was special even back then. Gonzalez's turn to serve. They went on a long run with Gonzalez serving in the first set. And the set was off from Christine Hartman. She tried to go short and quick to the middle. She just could not get it across. Frazier. Frazier thought the line was open. She was trying to get the touch call, but they don't give it to her. Penn State now up by two. Oh, what a block for Slay and Courtney. Just too good. Tronic was talking to Hartman. She wanted it in the middle for the Wildcats, but Penn State read it as well. Perfect communication in the middle for that double block. It is three. And that one goes out. And again, it's Ashley Frazier trying to go down the line. She's seeing an opening and just not able to get it around the size of the net for Penn State. Sonic goes out for Kentucky. Schwartz walled her in. And that time, Frazier finally was able to put one down. That was a quick play by the Wildcats, and that quickness allowed her to get up and get that one picked down before the block was able to close up. Christine Hartman with the serve. 
Oh, but Katie Slay, that is just terrifying at 6'6". Six, six. Well, Katie Slay has been such a dominant blocking player, and she leads this team in blocks, but she's become more offensive-minded, and her teammates have been finding her down the middle. You, if you're at the block on the other side, you got to know exactly where she's going to be at all times. Leads the Big Ten in blocks, but also has become effective offensively. McClendon from the back row. It's off Schwartz. Walder's hand. That was a nice read from Schwartz Walder, the freshman middle. He's really stepped in and, and to that middle position as a young player, not the easiest spot. That was a good read from the back row attack. Frazier with the serve. Set by Hancock. Setting up Billings at the pin. Billings from Alabama played club, club ball with Alexander Morgan down there. Damn, I don't think we've talked about Whitney Billings enough. She really hasn't had that many swings in this one. Had 10 kills against Ohio State. They've got to start finding her more. Is trying to save it, but that was a good serve. Give the point to Kentucky. They're down by one after dropping the first set. It's the senior again, Ashley Frazier. She's done some nice things. She's up for the Senior Class Award, one of the finalists, one of ten seniors in the nation. And off the net, good save by Hancock to keep it alive. Hancock tried to get it over, but just couldn't. She tried to take that second ball over, and here's Penn State again with some passing woes. When that pass is not there, and they get out of system, the Wildcats have been able to connect and respond on the other side. Well, Kentucky battling back to tie it in the second set. Another service error, that one just out, so Penn State takes the lead, 10 to 9. Now it's Megan Courtney's turn to serve. Freshman out of Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> Billings. We call this. There you go. And Whitney Billings on the slide that time. And you get the pass if you're the Wildcats. You break the serve. And this is what can happen. You can see, though, Katie Slay in the middle, number 16 in white, just could not get herself over. Lee puts turn to serve. Over to Billings, who has to send the free ball over. Asia McClendon off the block for the Penn State point. McClendon has really come on here in this one, and she's improved all aspects of her game. She's an all-around player, but she really focused on the defensive end of things. But an amazing athlete, big hops. First team All-American last year. Expected to be an All-American again this year. Penn State up by one. Carpenter gets the serve in this time. And then Hancock going up there to help with the block. 5-11 out of Oklahoma. The setter who's had a hitter's mentality at times coming in. She gets some size at 5-11. And she's got good hops. Oh, that Carpenter with a service error. Struggled with her serve today. Subs out. Miss Rose has a word for her. Always entertaining to hear Russ, wor Russ Rose's words. It makes me want to, you know, he's an ethics teacher as well. as a class. I wouldn't mind taking that class. Neil Grant going up for the kill. Yes, he teaches uh, teaches that class and has for several years now. Grant on the side. Well, his, Just got that line, huh? Yeah, his players are listening to what he's saying now. These last couple of breaks, they've been able to come back, go on some runs. They got that set number one and now extending it here in set two. the net. Warren O'Connor able to get on the ball. The Wildcats thought they caught the line on that block and instead it goes out. They give it to Penn State. 
They really thought that they had, a, they had that point. That's a crucial point for Penn State. They took the first set, 25-18, and they have a lead here in the second set right as we take a quick timeout. Penn State up a set and up by three here in the second set. Penn State and Stanford, the only two teams to make every NCAA tournament, all 32 of them. And there you see the national championships, five of them under Russ Rose, including four in a row from 07 to 2010. And he's a man very well respected, a Hall of Famer. And uh, we talked to Craig Skinner earlier in the week, and this was his quote, competitive, driven, smart, he called Russ Rose, gets his athletes to play hard and take pride in the program, a legend like John Wooden, who has impacted the sport. And anytime you're compared to John Wooden, that is the highest of compliments. Oh, there's no doubt, and, and for good reason. He's well-respected, and for Craig Skinner, in his 